The McCarthy Auto Group KC Classic featuring the Lucas Oil ASCS National Tour, the perfect complement to NASCAR at Kansas Speedway, and it's going to be a dirty good time. Support Grassroots Racing Thursday, May 10th at Lakeside Speedway. Johnson, Herrera, Haferty, they're all coming to take on the likes of Cornell, Brown, and the rest of your national and regional favorites. The McCarthy Auto Group KC Classic Thursday, May 10th. Action begins at 7.30 p.m. For ticket prices, information, and directions, log on to racingboys.com or ASCSRacing.com. I think we got last night's winner up at Heartland yep. Park, Topeka, Jonathan Cornell there on with go. us. Yes, we, we do. Jonathan, are you there? Yeah, I'm here, if you guys can hear me. Yes, I can. Well, thanks for taking time hey, out John. to spend with us. Big win last night. Yeah, you know, uh, we definitely needed it. Uh, uh, always getting one early in the season. To, you know, a huge confidence booster, booster and uh, it was nice uh, in the fashion we did it last night. Hey, Jonathan, this is Scott. I'm up here at uh, Williams Grove with the Luxol ASCS National Tour. Tell me about Heartland Park Topeka and what it, what it means to get up there to a new venue and run. That's that's a great facility, isn't it? Yeah, you know, the track is really cool. The facility is unbelievable. We, uh, we actually raced there last year, and uh, I feel right. like I had one slip away from me. We um, made a pass and lap traffic on Alex Sewell, and a caution came out. Uh, we ended up running second to him, so... Uh, last night when I was in third with just a few laps to go, I definitely didn't want to see another one slip away from us. What did Tyler Thomas yeah, yeah. out in front there? How were how you able to pull off the pass? Yeah, you know, uh, believe it or not, uh, um, just a few laps prior to that, we actually fell back to about the fifth spot. Um, we got really racy, and uh, between uh, you know Tyler and um, Mike up in first and second there for a while, I was trying to change my lines a little bit, and I was messing with some lap cars, and... Uh, uh, Wyatt Burks and Miles Paulus actually got by me. Uh, luckily enough, a, a caution came out, and um, I just knew there was only a few laps to go, so I had to um, just kind of go where they weren't going and get a, get a hell of a run off turn two and diamond down to uh, the bottom of three where the, the line was the fastest and just sneak underneath them. So I did that to uh, the second-place car, and then the next lap I had a heck of a run and did the exact same move um, on Tyler. And, you know, unfortunately for Tyler, he didn't see when he was kind of on cruise control, so... It worked out perfect for me to, you know, to strike when I did. Yeah, Jonathan, are you? So, would it be fair to say track conditions uh, uh, played in your favor to where you were able to pass? I mean, it wasn't all locked you know, down one groove, I guess. Yeah, you know, actually, uh, three and four, both corners were complete opposites. Um, three and four was really, really heavy. Uh, everybody was pretty much primarily on the bottom, and then one and two got super slick, where you really had to have some throttle control. Um, so, you know, I think that's where we had our advantage. I, me and uh, my crew chief, Chad Cypher, we kind of talked a little bit, and he's like, well, what corner you want to be good at? And I said, well, everybody's going to be getting three and four, so if we want to win, we better be getting one and two. And, and that's exactly what we did. We kind of set up for the slick part of the track, and we got through uh, turns one and two uh, pretty much better than anybody else could. Hey, before I let you go quickly, Dale Earnhardt won seven championships. Jimmy Johnson, seven championships. Richard Petty, seven championships. Now, granted, that's all NASCAR, right? I get that. <laughs> but with winning six championships now, does seven mean something to you? Does it feel like anything different to you when you get to that number seven? I I, I don't know. I'm just saying, you know, a lot of famous you know, drivers, obvious, that's, that, never, that's a number. Never compared to those guys, but um... – yeah, you know, it, it never hit me before. You know, we're on number six right now. We're just going to keep kind of doing what we're doing and keep trying to win races. And, uh,